Sal Hall. Ah. Don't get me wrong for the message in my song. It's not how much you have, it's what you do with it. West Rock, the best rock. Ah. Songfest 2024. Mm -mm. This is your second stint? Yes, yes. You are here in 2022, right? Yes, of course. How was it this time compared to last time? Well, you know, um, each year is a journey. You know, each year you expect new things, you know, and so you have to prepare. So I got new material, you know, um, more positive music, you know, to send to the world because West Rock is about positive music, you know, is being able to send a message to a lost generation, you know. I want to be remembered as someone who actually had spread at least one good message that probably might change somebody's life, you know. And so I'm not doing it for anything other than just the love of music, the platform that it provides me to reach the world. Uh-oh, I was born as a brilliant child. Never knew what the future holds for me. I can't count all the tears that fall. All the struggles, so oh, I worked so hard. Never knew that the day would come when I rise from the ghetto and the slum. Now I'm seeing the rising sun and the glitters and the riches can done. Cause I'm a winner. Uh oh. -uh. Yeah, every man is a winner, you know. West Rock want to tell you that. Jamaica country artist. Yeah, yeah. And remember, it's W E S R O K, music. You find me on all platforms. What's unique is that you write from your life. What you just sang about. All of what I, I sing about is about my life. You know, I came from zero to something. And now I'm looking back on the journey and I'm saying, if I made it out of nothing, then there's someone that I can actually, you know, encourage to do the same. Don't give up. Have confidence in yourself. Believe in yourself. And you can do it. West Rock said that. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You served in the JCF. How many years you served? I served almost 20 years in the JCF. And um, I must say this it's an honorable institution. You know, most of what I've been through and what I am today is as a result of the JCF. So I just want to big up the JCF. Yeah? But the JCF had helped me to escape from rural poverty because in the country in St. Catherine where I grew up there was nothing so I had to find a way to get out of the country to go to Kingston and to seek for the opportunities but there was this inner um, uh, seed that was sown by my mother to say education is first and uh, the sky's the limit once you can conceive it you can do it and so here I am you serve in what um, branches and what capacity and I also want to find out from you um, JCF today what are your thoughts on the JCF today? All right so you know I I left as a superintendent you know um, and so so that speaks up for itself you know I came up through the ranks I know everything I know the ins and the outs and I know all the challenges that JCF go through and I know all about the challenges that citizens go through you know with the police versus citizens citizens versus police but I just want to say that um, the JCF now is 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 certainly a little different from in my time you know in my time you 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 really um, had to work for that kind of promotion you know and it took some people many years to get a promotion um, the, the transition now is that you know um, we're looking for a new breed of police officers someone that was a little younger and who can think a little smarter but it doesn't necessarily mean that it is always correct that way you know um, so it's two different dispensation and I just want to encourage every police officer to just continue to do your good and don't fall for anything that is bad. Where's Rock said that? Uh-uh. Anything else you want to add? You did a uh, follow-up with Massacre. Massacre. Um, how well has that been doing so far? That one has been doing tremendously well. Um, in fact, that one has paved the way for me to do one with Busy Signal and to do one with Big Mountain. And now I'm looking to do one with a very, very influential country 
star who thinks that having a collab with a Jamaican cowboy is really a big deal. Why you don't want to tell us the name? You, well, you, you know you're a smart lady, so I, 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 I can't see to that. I can't see to that. Should we, uh, should we look out for this? And, uh, all right, so, all right, so I'm currently working on the EP. Yeah, I'm doing an EP, and which will be finalized in another few weeks from now. I have a song with Big Mountain that is out, my latest single. So I want the fans to go and check that one out, you know. And um, my collab with this country artist that I'm talking about, we are finalizing discussion around it. And in short order, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're all about it. Like collab with Big Mountain, I know they do a lot of stuff in Jamaica. They love Jamaica. But how did that one come about? Well, you know, someone has helped me to make a connection with Big Mountain. You know, I wrote a song and sent it to him and said, listen to this. And, um, you know, he never stopped calling me since that time. And um, we have become friends, you know, and, and that's how it is. That's how music is. I you love know. Oh my gosh, you know. I give <laughs> credit. Rock. I give credit to my team, you know. And, yeah. you know, they, they, they want to see the best out of me, the best out of the brand. So, you know, I, I am blessed and I am thankful. Uh oh. Thank you. Bless. Waste rock. The best rock. Uh oh.